didn't see you there my muscles were in the way hello stupid i've been expecting you i've been feeling really insufficient and frustrated at the rate of my progression in different endeavors so i thought why not keep track of them every one or two weeks just for fun and we had a nice video idea as well because i can watch back in the future and see how far i've come and i can see exactly how much progress i've made in the avenues i've chosen to track and look at my rate of improvement objectively i was at the gym the other day and i was telling a friend how angry i was that nothing was really moving significantly and what if despite us being so deliberate about improvement we still fall behind those who mindlessly make decisions and still end up better in the endeavors we want to pursue that almost gives them a reason to talk down to us that ha look you take it so deliberately and i'm still better than you while we were at the gym my friend pointed at someone doing incline bench and he was benching like basically way lesser than me because i'm just that cool i'm a, a beast from the east and he told me look at him he benches barely what i do now but how do i know that he hasn't been training for one or two years and he reminded me that i'm ahead and i'm way past average it's kind of a shitty example the, the gym stuff but you, you get the gist it really shifted my mindset like damn there are going to be countless people out there putting in so much time and effort and not being ahead of the curve so we never really know how much someone sacrifices or how much time and effort they put into something that they might not be amazing at but it also showed me the power of excruciating competitiveness waking up every day feeling like i'm insufficient i'm not enough everyone is way better than me for some reason at the same amount of time that i've put in to an endeavor but hey because of that that painful competitiveness i think that's what helped me cross the lines of the average progression if that makes any sense so i think competition is very very important in our culture only the results matter and i'm not complaining that's that makes sense that's very motivating and that will cause us to want to get better at things but that is also excruciating because everyone is trying to navigate the maze of success i've come to realize that no matter how hard someone works or how many ideas they think of and how much time they pour into making progress luck and rng can still take someone random mindlessly doing things further than people who take it deliberately who work very hard i want to wipe out my competition i want something to verify all the time that i put into my endeavors when people aren't looking i can't have someone mindlessly doing things better than me my pride and dignity just will not have it but everyone is trying to navigate the maze of success it really helped me realize there can be countless of people putting so much time and effort into things and they still fall behind they could put in the same amount of time and effort as me or even more than me and fall behind in results and that's fucking unfortunate and devastating that is so draining i see why people always say just compete with yourself i understand competition is very very powerful but unfortunately in this maze of success rng and luck also plays a huge role a hardworking guy could try 500 different paths of the maze and even think of countless different combination of different paths to take to try to achieve success or try to make significant gain 
in results, but someone with RNG could try 5 paths and make the right choices at every turn, unfortunately. So if you have terrible luck and great work ethic, you'll probably be on the same level as someone with immense luck and shitty work ethic. But what gives hard work so much power is that if you are slightly lucky, and you are hardworking, you will wipe out all competition. And it doesn't matter what position you're placed in because someone who's hardworking will try so many different paths that more likely than not, they can get themselves out of those positions. And someone with luck can be placed real far ahead, but they better be lucky as hell because being lucky gives them no reason to try hard. And that is our chance to destroy them. It's unfortunate how much RNG and luck plays into achieving success. It's unfortunate, it sucks. That is why it's important for us to value ourselves not on our results but on the amount of sacrifices we make, on how hard we try, on how many ideas we think about, on how long we persevere. We should take pride in that, we should respect ourselves for that. Others, unfortunately, will only look at results because that's how the culture works and that's how it should work. But you should understand that you can and you deserve to respect yourself, not because you've achieved things but because you will not stop trying and you will not stop sacrificing for something that doesn't even want to blossom. That's what makes you fucking amazing, man. Unfortunately, others can only respect you based on your results, unless you know the person personally. But that's just something we have to learn to accept. So let's get started. I'm gonna show the weekly tracking thing on Notion. This week was quite good in terms of progress. It was like air, eh, very air, eh, cause I was very distracted. This week was like a 5, 6, 6 out of 10 that I'm happy with. Okay, maybe more like a 4 because I, I got distracted the past few days with a lot of Netflix shows. Like Outer Banks, Queen's Gambit. Shut up, don't bother me. So I, I just started training legs like a month ago. So I'm kind of weak, but my uh, deadlift and squat have been consistently going up. I have to take longer rest days though. I can't do it twice a week because my, my joints are not used to the load placed on my back. So I, I kind of have to take it slow. Stop. I know it's low right now, okay? You watch out. I'm gonna kick your ass, all right? What, what do you squat now, huh? 120? Easy, give me two months and you'll be fucked, all right? Gonna be better than you. A bit chubby right now because I'm bulking. Not really bulking, I'm just kind of recomping, but like slow bulking at the same time, if that makes any sense. So I'll just look at the weight. If it's going down, I'll eat more. If it's going up, I'll eat less. But for some reason, it keeps going up. I wonder why. <laughs> So I'm around 95 kg right now, but I'm 191 cm, so it, I'm not that fat, okay, relax. My subscriber count went up by 4, oh, that's so much, oh, oh, oh my god, fuck me. All the ladies are in my arm for my, my wealth, my social hierarchy, my social proof, they're all in my arms, man, the ladies, ladies. Relax, I. They're all over me. They're like, oh my god, Vernon, 25 subscriber. Oh my god. Sleep quality, man. I know six hour, 30 minutes look little, but that's because I use an app to track it. It's Sleep Cycle. You can download it. Not sponsored, but it's it's amazing. And you should probably download it. It's good. I just leave my phone like close to me while I sleep. And the time that I use, the six hour, 30 minutes, that's the average time spent asleep. Not the average time spent in bed. Average time spent in bed is probably around 7, seven hours 45 or something like that. Yep, yep, I know. I need more sleep. All right, you wait. I'm going to get more sleep. So my bench, I think, went up by a little. My squats went up by quite a bit. Deadlift, I think it's hanging in there. You know, I definitely feel more power when I push into the floor and yoink that weight up. So... I think that's an improvement. But hey, the weight will go up. All right, you wait. I'm just taking it slow. Not really. I'm trying to push it as fast as I can. But sometimes the weight just doesn't want to move, you know. It's not my fault. Bloody hell. I've been thinking, imagine a world where I am a good boxer, a YouTuber. I'm articulate. I'm rich. I'm a bodybuilder. You know, I look jacked as hell. I'm a beatboxer. You know, some, some form of... Uh, good chess player some level of a director maybe maybe some form of a pianist as well i want to be it all i want to excel in everything i put my mind to so bad i want to become someone who has conscious command of the different aspects of life like physical emotional mental spiritual i want to be competent intelligent sociable and experienced i want to become a dominant powerful man like the, the inner child the inner ageness 
creeping through my soul. I want to be. I want to be fucking powerful, man. And at the same time, a generous, kind, caring, charismatic, loving person with little resentment. Now, I can't believe I spent so many years living with no image of what I want to be and what I want to achieve. All I wanted to get good at was like gaming and attracting women, which I was doing nothing about. I was just trying to play some RNG game or sitting there waiting for women to talk to me. So that was basically my entire life until like two, three years ago. And I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. We're finally here. We finally have direction. This is beautiful. I'm so grateful for that. I'm gonna pour my soul, alright? And I'm gonna get good at everything. You hear that, future Vernon? You're cringe, alright? And that's okay. Because I bet you're somewhere far right now. I hope you come back. I'll track my progress with these videos and watch it all ascend. Let's do this. How much progress have you made? I'm going to keep pushing and become great in every endeavor I pursue. See you next week. Let's see what we can get done in seven days, eh? I didn't next week or next next week, but we'll never know. You better make big improvements to better work.